Hello my friends and welcome to episode 48, it's deployment time. I upgraded most of my infantry, except this one. Right, so let's, uh, let's replace our stuff. This time we have taken vastly less damage. Did this guy have his heroes taken off? Yeah, that's funny. Because the piece that had the heroes died. Uh, cancel. Not sure how useful overwhelming attack is going to be on its own, but okay. The self-repairing anti-aircraft gun ended up full health at the end of that. Do you know, I'm wondering if I could deploy this strat bomber somewhere where it wouldn't be harmed, but this is a tiny map and I think it's going to be just a total slugfest right from the start. My suggestion to myself would be to deploy only my fighters plus air and maybe my dive bombers as well. Just deploy them here. Yeah, there's an airport here, an airport here, 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 and here. Okay, they've got airports everywhere. I've got an idea. It's pretty simple, really. I'll just deploy that strat bomber after I've cleaned up the enemy air force and then leave it to repair itself as a simple prestige saving measure. Once the battle is fully committed and I think I've cleaned out an area of aircraft, maybe here and here. That's a US air base, that's funny. Um, I can just deploy that strat bomber and leave it in the corner to start repairing itself. Thus saving me a shit ton of money. I guess the plane is actually obsolete. Huh. No, it's not. I can't change its type without repairing it, and I don't want to repair it, so that's fine. Okay, I have a lot of slots left over. Hmm. You want infantry here and here. These close tiles have to be defended with infantry. This is an open space that's best defended by tanks. I probably could have repaired those uh, full screen Jaeger and then 
converted them into pioneers, but whatever. I'm gonna buy an extra set of pioneers. I will replace my recon car though, I don't think it's very useful on this mission. You know, this unit is tougher, but I think I actually prefer this one. It's considerably cheaper. It has the rapid fire ability, so it's roughly got the same kind of damage, roughly. I can always upgrade it later. I assume I'm going to need another anti-aircraft gun. I'm not even going to buy a transport for it, because I mean look at this map. Why would you need a transport? This is probably the main hub of the fighting, so I should deploy my tanks and best anti-aircraft here. Ninety-two prestige per turn, sweet. So there's like two thousand in the thing. I guess I won't be doing much capturing on this map, that's for certain. Oh, Southampton is currently owned by uh, the Falklands? Isn't that the flag of the Falklands Islands? Or the friggin' Isle of Man? Interesting. I don't know what else I want to buy, honestly. Maybe I could consider upgrading some of this stuff. This Panther actually has close defense. I believe there's a new Mark III flame out there as well. Yeah, with all round better capability. And some close defense. Jesus, that's a cost. Tigers are also very nice. This is uh, zero slots. So, I could just upgrade it, and it wouldn't cost me anything, apart from prestige, which I'm quite short on. Well, I wouldn't say I'm short on prestige. Why would you choose the Panther D over the Tiger? It's slightly cheaper. 
It's a little bit faster, that's why. I'm gonna upgrade my basic tanks to tigers. I also have a zero. Uh, I have like a half slot hi hero that I'm not even using at the moment. I guess I should just be content with where I am at. Ah, oh, there is a new fighter. And it is much better. This is actually a good place to spend my prestige. And slots. In everything that matters, it's better. It's not very efficient slot-wise. This is actually a good way to spend uh, slots without spending prestige. These things are only six slots, so that's 12 for that. Just thinking about where to put my half slot hero to get the most slots back. These are five, ten. Get five back. Because I actually D over strengthed a lot of my stuff. This would be one of the most efficient ways to actually get... I'd get five slots back for this. I should consider moving my... Uh, moving my heroes around. anything for splitting here but all right I'm happy with that I can always reduce the strength of the fighters later if if necessary okay let's think about the actual deployment now Okay, apparently I go first. 
That's good. We cut here, up and across. These will just be bulwarks of defense. Double strength, anti-aircraft gun. fires in the middle. Okay. I'm going to have to rearrange all this as soon as it's my go. Okay. All you need is just some infantry. some infantry there, okay. Okay, I'm not sure how readily the enemy can just send units through this forest area. This should be able to hold by itself. Did I not deploy a standard artillery there? There's AA. Long range artillery. Two there. One there. I actually don't have four anymore, do I? I have three. Okay, that'll have to do. Recon car that's not any good here. Actually, have no more room to deploy units on that side. Okay, I can deploy it later. Okay, we let them attack, then we push. I'm now at the point where I really need to minimize damage so I can get my hands on some more cash and upgrade my stuff. <clears throat> One might say that we are fully healed once again, but we are not fully upgraded. 
<clears throat> I'm hoping my new extra vicious team of overstrength fighters can reduce the air threat very rapidly. I will then use my aircraft to counter battery any tank push. Got my main armor here because they're going to be unsupported by air. Okay, that's it for now. That's what I'm going to go with. We'll see if it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.